is going to be recorded. All right. So here we go. Where did we get up to yesterday? Ten. ten. All right. So did we discuss number ten yet? No. All right. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to circle this right here. This is why I love notability because I can just change things out. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to list some properties for you that I think you should know. Now, part of the reason why I don't like properties is because it has nothing to do with math. It's just can you memorize? Is everybody with me? All right. So let's talk about this. All right. So first property, associative. All right. Here's an example of the associative property. The order stays the same. So if I did, for example, A plus B plus C is equal to A plus B plus C. Does everybody agree that's a true statement? But the associative has to do with parentheses. So it looks something like this. Now notice the group is the same. All right, A, B, C. The order is the same, A, B, C. But the grouping symbols are what? Different. All right, so I like to tell kids, associate. Who do you associate with? Who are your groups? All right, that's how I remembered associative property has to do with grouping symbols. Let me finish. Associative property has everything to do with grouping symbols. All right, so let's see if that matches A. All right, is the order the same? Five, three, seven. Five, three, seven. Exactly the same, correct? Just the what? The grouping symbols in a different place. So the answer has to be what? Yeah, that is the answer, the associative property. All right, now I'm going to give you an example of the identities. All right, so here's what I want you to do now. I want you to write B, all right, and B stands for what? Identity, right? Now I'm going to give you an example of an identity problem. 10 plus 0 equals 10. A plus 0 equals A. <clears throat> is everybody comfortable with that? That's an identity. How do I know it's an identity? And it's specifically an additive identity. All right, the reason why we say it's an additive identity is because we're adding zero. Is everybody good with that? Now, identity, how I learned it was you're not changing. All right, if I add zero, does anything change? No, nothing changes. Who can tell me what the multiplicative identity is? Or multiplying identity, what would that be? Multiply by what? Zero. Remember? One. Multiply by one. Thank you. Exactly. Because if you multiply by one, does anything change? No, it does not. So we could also say, for example, three times one equals three, or x times one equals x. All right? That is called the multiplicative identity, or the identity of multiplication. What? Uh, you just put the X just to represent just any number? Just any number. That's brilliant. Exactly right. Okay? So again, that's the identity. All right. Now for C, we're going to do an example of commutative property. Commutative property is simply when the order is changed. All right? So what does that mean? If I say 4 plus 3, is that the same as 3 plus 4? Yes. Yeah, it is. So it's kind of like uh, associative? No, kind of, but because it has to do with doing it in yeah, a different order. Sure. But but the order is mixed up this time. Yeah. All right? So we could also say x plus y equals what? y plus x. That would be a commutative property. Oh. All right? The order is written differently. The other example we could do would be something like a times b. What does a times b equal? Come on, guys, what does A times B equal if we're doing commutative property? C. No, 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 no. B times A. Yeah, B times A. Thank you. All right. What? So it's, it's just the exact same problem, just in a different Yes. In other words, what they're trying to do is if I say 1 plus 2, it doesn't matter if I do 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1. It's the same answer. That's what they're telling me. Okay? Now, substitution. Let's look at D for the substitution. 
all right? If we're doing substitution, it would be something like this. If I say x plus y, and then I said over here, x is equal to 9. Instead of writing x plus y, I could write what? Say it. 9 plus y. That is correct. Because what did I do? I substituted in 4x, 9. Did everybody see that? That's why they call it the substitution problem. You're missing your iPad? It just, oh, all right. I just wasn't sure. Sorry. All right. Because the, the other thing somebody said is, if you forget your iPad, I have an old iPad here that I can let kids use. I don't, I, it's never a problem. Okay. All right. Now I think we've done a good job explaining those four properties. Everybody agree with that? All right. So now someone tell me what the answer is to number 11. Obviously, that is a what, Tucker? That's the cube. Wait a minute. On number 11. Oh, 11. Look at 11. Someone help him out with 11. Identity. It's the identity. Thank you. That was a good job, girl. Identity. I like that. Because, again, we're just multiplying by 1. If you multiply by 1, does anything change? No. All right. Now, number 12 should have been relatively easy. Let's see who's thinking about this. Brian, what do you think? Tell me. Look at your answer. Jack, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm happy with you, buddy. Jack, very good. N plus 15. Right? Because why? You're adding what together? You're adding the 8 and the 7. That's right. We don't know what it is. Nothing you can do. All right, now, this is the this is the important stuff. So if you're not sure, it's time to speak up. Is everybody okay with that? All right, now, number 13, we should be pretty good at. Yes, ma'am. Miss Johnson. D, I like that. 63M. Remember, this is the time where you say, I'm not 100% sure. Speak up. Oh. Because we're doing what? Yeah, multiply. Yeah, yeah. See, don't yeah. don't worry. Don't worry. Every time it's, it's easy to make a mistake. All right? It's easy to make a mistake. All right? Just correct your mistake and move on. It's no big deal. All right. Now, number 14. All right? Here's what I want to do here. I want everybody to take a little bit of notes right here with me. All right? So remember, what comes first, the X or the Y? What do you think? Why? What do you think? Why? X? X? Not sure? Yeah, I think it's the X. So, so if we look here, and the other way I remember this is I always tell kids it's in alphabetical order. So the first number here represents what? X. And the second number here represents what? That's what I want you to remember. So make sure you make yourself a note of that, X and Y. Right? Now, there's a whole bunch of X values. Do you agree? So they gave, the, gave those a name. So I want write everybody over here. I want everybody to write this down. The domain. All right. The domain. Are just the what? X values. Everybody hearing me? Domain is the X value. What's the range, do you think? If the domain is the X, the range is probably the, yeah, that's it, the Y values. Domain and range. Domain of the X values, range of the Y values. Anybody have any questions or concerns with that? Any questions or concerns with that? Domain, range, X and Y. All right. So now, who can tell me the point for 5-3? Who was telling me the 5-3? Yes, ma'am. E, right. Because, again, look, here's the X value that's 5. Here's the Y value that's 3. You should be able to see that pretty easy. Everybody good with that? Plotting points. Yep, and it's okay. Now that's right. If you made a mistake and you put the Y first and then the X, just make yourself a note. All right, it's very simple. Very, very simple. 
Good job, Sienna. All right, so let's look at K. So I'm going to change my highlighter. This is why I like it. I like to go here is K and here is K. So what are the coordinates for K? Yes, ma'am. Four, seven. Four, seven. Beautiful. Now, again, remember, you're supposed to speak up now if you're not sure. Xavier, you're still with me, right? Sean, you haven't said much today. I want you guys to speak up if you don't know something. Everybody good, right? Yep. All right, I'm happy with you guys. All right, now this one I tried to answer. All right, I want everybody to read 16. I didn't expect anybody to know how to do number 16, but I expect if you were paying attention, everybody knows how to do number 16. Thank you, Sean. Tell us the answer. Why B? And what specifically, what numbers? And what are the 1, 2, 5, and 6? What are those numbers? Yes, but what value? The X or the Y? Domain is the, the X number. You're correct, Sean. Correct. All right, now this is what I'm showing you up here. See, I wrote notes up here. I want you to be able to refer back to them if you forget what domain means. Right, so how was Sean, or how was he able to tell me it was B? Because if these are the X values, right? One, two, five, six. Those are the X values. Everybody agree? Very simple. Again, that's just do you understand the definition? All right, that's all it is. Do you understand the definition? All right, here we go. Hmm. Xavier. Which ordered pair would appear in the graph of the data? Um, what are you thinking? I don't know what they should. No, now you, but you've been listening. So now you can tell me. What does this represent right here? Globe represents the what value? The x or the y? What's this? So, what point is that? Exactly. You see what I'm saying, right? That wasn't hard. All right. Uh, now we're good. That's why you're doing homework. And a lot of you guys have older sisters and older brothers. That would be really nice if you could say, hey, man, just help me out with this real quick. All right, learn to talk to him. The good information. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, here we go. So let's tell you why I knew that was it. So all of these up here represent the X values. You agree with that? And all of these down here represent the what? Right. So I just looked at the first point that I saw, which was this right here. The X value is 12. You see it now? The X value is 12. The X value is 12. And the Y value that corresponds to that X is what? Zero. You see it now, right? Pretty easy. All right, is everybody okay with that? All right, let's check out 18. Uh-oh. So how did I get from X to Y? How did I get from X to Y? Ms. Cussell, did you know this one? Okay, so if I start at what? Here, I'm going to show you how simple this is. Everybody's got to look up. I'm starting at what? Uh -huh, which is now what? 12. And how do I get to zero? Do I subtract 12, multiply by 12, add 12, or divide by 12? So 12 times 12 is what? Even if you don't know, is it zero? No. So it can't be multiplied by 12. Uh, subtract. There you go. So if I subtract 12, what's 12 minus 12? Zero. That's how I figured that out. You with me now? Yeah. And then if I look at 16, what's 16 minus 12? Uh, two. Yeah. Four. What's 20 minus 12? Eight. 24 minus 12. That's how I know I'm right. Good? Yeah. All right, easy. Easy, easy. All right, everybody good? Uh-oh, range. Hmm. Everybody's got to speak up. Range. What does the range mean? Say it. The Y values. 
The range is the y values. So in this case, what is the answer? Yes, ma'am. D. Let's see if that's correct. 0 and 12. Is 0 and 12 part of the domain? I'm sorry, is, is 0 and 12 part of the range? I'm sorry. Is 0 and 12 part of the range? Yes. Is it all of the range, though? No. See what I'm saying? So look right. So what is the best answer now? C. Very good. 0, 4, 8, and 12. All right, again, it doesn't matter. Even if you make a mistake, we're going to hear to correct it. Anybody have any problems with the range? Yes, sir. Uh, well, what is the range? Tell me what the range means. And what are the Y values? Now you know, right? All right, good job. Here we go. Let's check out 20. Uh-oh, some of the people had trouble with this one. All right. Go ahead, Tucker. Five. Anybody else have something different? What'd you get? That's okay. Yes, a lot of people had A. A lot of people had A and some people had B. What do you think it is? All right, so let me show you how to visualize math now. All right, so when you're not sure, you got to write things down. If you learn to write things down, you'll start to see math better. All right, so here we go. I wrote down one ream every what? Six what? Right? So that means in 12 hours, I would have what? Two rings. So I see this. And then three rings, it would take me what? 18 hours, right? So everybody see the pattern now? So then four it would be what? And five it would be what? So that's why the correct answer was what? Alright. Does that you see that? That's perfect. Lots of ways to think about it. Tell me. That's exactly right. That's another way to do it. You can say, I. How many of these did we have? The problem is, what would if what if they said it was, like for example, two reams every six hours. All right. Then it changed a little bit. Yes, sir. You want to do the next one? All right, what did you do for 21, do you remember? Yes. That's exactly correct. And that number was six, right? Common difference is six. Everybody happy with that one? All right. 22. Now, this one, I expect you just to be able to look at it and tell me the end. What did you get? Uh, How did you know that for sure? And how else did I know that? Because 12 plus 19 is not 32. 16 plus 16 is 32, though. So why couldn't it be B? You're 100% right. But why can't it be B? They're even. That's correct. Very good. 100% correct. What? Yeah, no, I said it equals 32. I said 12 plus 19 doesn't equal 32. True? But 16 plus 16 did equal 32, but they're evens. So that's why the answer had to be D. Agreed? All right, I don't expect anybody to have trouble with 23. What is the correct answer for 23? Tell me. A, I'm happy. What about 24? All right, the time spent playing games, if each of four games is five minutes, if each of the games is five minutes, Sean, tell me. 
Yes, four times five. Happy. All right, now we got some good mental math here on 25. Tell me. I got a D so far. Anybody get something different than D? What'd you get? C. C, I like it. Anybody else? Good for you. B, I like that. Anybody else? No A's? Okay, we'll cross out A. All right, now let's blow this thing up. What do I have to do first here? Tell me. Okay, what's 4 minus 4, guys? 8. Then I have to add what? 8 plus 3. And then what? Times 6. Wow. Those of you guys who got D, pat yourself on the back. A job well done. If you didn't see it was D and you made some mistake, do you understand why the answer is D now? Is everybody okay with it being D? Any questions? All right, I'm happy with you guys. All right, let's take a shot at number 26. Who's pretty comfortable with 26? Yes, ma'am. I got an A so far. Anybody else? Something different? That was too easy. Oh, I got a C. Good job. Somebody else? All right, help us out. What do we do? Yes. I'm sorry, girl. You got it right. Yep. There you go. Simple as that. That's the math behind it. Very good. Very, very good. Everybody happy with that? That wasn't bad. Everybody agree? All right. Uh oh. Who remembers how many inches in a yard? How many inches in a yard? You know? Yeah, I guess 36. So you guys, that's a good job if you knew that. How many inches in a foot? How many feet in a yard? There you go. Beautiful. So my correct answer here is how many inches are in a certain number of yards? What would I do? So let's say I had uh, five yards. How do I figure out how many inches that is? What do I do? Yeah, so my answer should be what? A, right? You multiply to get the number of inches. Is everybody happy with that explanation? All right, as long as you know if there's 36 inches in a yard, it wasn't a big deal. All right, so now for tonight for homework, listen, I want you to try to finish 28 all the way through the end. All right, some of them are plotting points. They're asking you about domain and range. If you don't know, do I care? No, we'll come to class. I'm going to help you do them all, right? At the end, there's also some what? ERB questions that we're practicing, all right? So I want you to try those as well. Is everybody with me? Now, what time do we get out of the class? Does anybody know? We get out at exactly 10.08, which means we have exactly eight minutes. So that means we have time to get some work done. All right, now look, boys in the back, you guys know how to help each other out. I mean, you're allowed to talk about the math, right? Girls, talk about the math if you want. If you don't know how to do a problem, ask your neighbor. That's perfectly fine. All right, some people's notability is still not working, so would you mind if you guys would kind of like to hear about it? Of course you can. Anytime you want to go to the restroom, you go to the restroom, but you have to go out the back door because they're in there doing what? PE, and I'm not allowed to interrupt their PE class. So our restroom is out there. Anytime you have to go to the restroom, don't interrupt me. It's probably an emergency, so just go quickly and then come quickly back. All right, do you understand that? All right, go quickly. What? Continue. Keep right on going. Yes? You said try to get it. Well, I mean, I want you to get it done. Trying means you did the whole review, but there was something you didn't know how to do. So I'll help you. But because you have an older brother, he should be able to help you. Yep. So you better use them while you can. 